What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You guys, I am going to simply walk you through um, some basic stuff, but the most required stuff um, that you'll need to need to comply with and, and simply implement um, per this new Apple iOS 14 update with Facebook. So Facebook is, is as a lot of you guys know, they're going through a major U-Haul and just simply updating and, and tweaking a lot of the a lot of the requirements that are needed um, from advertisers like us which are basic and simple and and just kind of you got to just roll with the punches and 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 go with what it is i mean it is what it is type of type of thing right and you got to just make sure you 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 update and cross your t's and dot your i's and and make sure that you're just on on board with any change that this platform makes and so that's part of evolving. That's the part of getting better and, and staying on top of your shit is making sure that you're, 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 you're in tune with what's going on. And so this right here, as a lot of you guys know, if you're in the advertising world, um, the Facebook world, um, the few changes have been the conversion, the pixel, um, integrating your custom domain with cart with, um, with Facebook. Never before was it really a requirement, but now Facebook wants to know that domain that you're running traffic to. Um, and that domain needs to be a custom domain that you own, right? So I'm going to simply walk you through. I have one um, new ad account up here that I'm going to just in integrate a domain with. And so um, again, man, just day in the life, um, I'm going to show you guys how I do it. So if you haven't already, you want to set up a, a, a business manager. That's going to be first and foremost. You want to set up a business manager. And a business manager is just simply an account that houses your your ad managers, your ad accounts. So you have the you have your Facebook ad manager, which is tied to your personal name, tied to your personal profile. And then your business manager is what everything is tied to. So the business manager manager just gives you more more access to to see different metrics to be able to add more multiple accounts to be able to request access to other people's account to be able to give access to other people if they're running ads for you so it just gives you more flexibility and in, in, in when it comes to to being a legitimate business on Facebook a business manager is for sure what you want to set up and and also per this new Apple iOS 14 update you need a business manager okay so if you haven't already, this is what you'll be going to is business.facebook.com. Okay, so um, when you get here, you'll know if you have a business manager set up. You'll either see this or it'll be blank and you'll just see this blue button, create business. And you can only have two um, um, business managers. Um, this right here is really just, um, this is two business managers, but then it's showing an account as well. So, but you can only have two business managers and um, mine is inspired digital and then inspired affiliate. So um, you can only have two, I maxed out. And so you'll either see yours right here or you won't. Um, and if not, just hit the create business, the blue button, and you can just go through the basic setup. It just, it takes you straight into the business settings where you can add your business info. Um, and you want to do that for sure. You want to add your email, you want to verify your email um, and all that good stuff. It's just the basic setting up. And then once you set it up, then you'll, then, then it'll look like this. In fact, it takes you straight into something like this, but this is, this is your business settings. Okay. So this is where all the magic happens. You want to, you want to simply go through each one of these and make sure that everything is set up accordingly. Um, your business page is tied to this right here. Your ad accounts are, are, are right here. Um, and then also your custom conversions, your data sources, which is your pixels, your custom conversions. This is where you want to set everything up for the first time is in the business settings. Okay, so again, you got um, payment method, you'll include it right there. Um, business info, all your business information goes there. And even if you're not a corporation, like an actual LLC, when you go and set up the business info and you put in all the information and it asks for your business name, put whatever business name you're rocking with, like whatever business name you're trying to bring to the marketplace, even if it's not a corporation, still, still put that name. Um, just don't put your name, right? Think of something creative and, and have some type of business name. Um, if it's a DBA or just something that you plan on incorporating it, you can just go ahead and put it in right there and you'll be fine in the business info. So in this video, I'm going to focus on the domain, okay? Um, because I haven't integrated my domain with this specific business manager. And so I just thought I'd, you know, share it with you and, 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 you know, do it for all you guys. So all you're gonna do is come in here, brand safety, click on domains, and it'll bring you right here. And then you click on add. And all I'm going to do is type in just the URL. I don't need HTTPS. I don't need www. It's just the, the URL. Okay. So inspired digital com. I'm going to click on add domain. And then once you click on add, it's going to bring you back over here and you're going to be like, holy shit, what did anything happen? 
Yes, it did happen. So what you have to do though, is you have to hit refresh. So you're just going to hit refresh like that. And then it's going to give us a step of a, a three-step, you know, um, set of instructions here that we'll have to um, comply with and go um, and go implement into or go integrate into into GoDaddy. So all we're going to do now is follow these steps right here. And it's really just, well, it's all three. So log into the domain register, which, registrar, which I'm going to show you an example off of, off of GoDaddy. I get all my domains through GoDaddy and, and most of the, the domain registrars, however the hell you pronounce that, normally they're all the same. So you just log in and just follow the basic DNS settings. And then you can, you can do this even on, on your end. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to simply um, log in right here and I'm going to copy number two. So I'm going to add a text record using that right there. So I'm going to come in here to my actual domain. I'm going to hit, I'm going to click on my link. And then I'm going to simply um, come down to the DNS settings. So just scroll all the way down, look for manage DNS. So depend, you know, depend on what, you know, domain registrar you're using, just look for the DNS settings. Um, and then so over here in GoDaddy, it's right here. And all I'm looking for is the add. So I'm going to add a TXT record. And the at, the host sign is going to be the at. So it says it right over here is um, number three, the at sign in the host field. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to leave that there. And I'm going to simply paste in that link. There's the TXT value, and I'm going to hit save. And what I like to do a lot is I like to refresh the page, right? Just give it a little a little freshy real quick refresh that bad boy, and then come back over here to the business settings, and you're going to hit refresh. Actually, you're going to click verify, um, and sometimes you have to hit it a couple of times, but let's see if one time does the trick. Actually, see, so if, if you see this record mismatch, then all you're going to do is you're going to simply scroll down. Let me um, click it again, verify. Verify one more time. Boom. You see that? So don't get, don't get discouraged. If you click that damn thing and see the error, do it again. Do it again. As you can see, I had to do it a couple times, and then boom, it's verified. Okay, so now here's what I got to do now. Now, if I click on domains right over here to the left, so I'm just what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to refresh it. So I'm going to always refresh, right? Refresh the GoDaddy, refresh this over here. Now this red dot um, up here at the top will, will turn green. Okay, so now, now I got a, re, a green dot, and now – Everything is connected. So my domain is connected in Facebook, connected assets, see if I need to add anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add add it to this business page right there. I'm going to click on add, and there is the added asset. So you want to make sure you do that. Um, I don't need to add um, anything else. We're good there. And this domain is tied to this page right here. So that's how you integrate the domain. Now, um, there's a few more steps that you want to do inside of the actual um, 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 events manager, but that's when you that's when you that's when you add your pixel onto the page. And I won't show you that in this video. Um, that'll be in the next one. But um, I still have to take my pixel and add it to some pages, which I I haven't done, so I won't be able to set up the next step. But that's how you do the domain. Okay, so. This right here is, is, is probably the most important because before what you used to be able to do is just simply run ads. And when people click, they can go to your ClickFunnels page or they can go to your Kartra page or they can go to any landing page software that you're using, right? Your website, whatever. And that URL doesn't never had to be yours. Like I could be using Kartra's URL, default URL or ClickFunnels, you know, default URL or whatever. But now as I, I drive traffic, Facebook wants that domain to be yours, your custom domain. Okay, so that right there is the most important, you guys. That's what I call step one. So get that part, get your business manager set up, and then simply integrate your domain. And I'll show you what to do with that domain on the next video. All right, guys, over and out. I'll see you soon.